Hey there, CJ Math students, and finally, part three of eight notes 8.1. Um, in this final part, we're just asking the question, could the measurement size that I've given you be a right triangle? And that could only be a right triangle if it satisfies the Pythagorean theorem. So you could write here, only a right triangle if we get numbers that state that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. If we get numbers that state otherwise, um, then it's not a right triangle. So let's try it out. So we'll say, remember the longest side is always going to be the hypotenuse. That's an important one. So this will always have to be c. So, so we'll say is 3 squared plus 4 squared equal to 5 squared? That's a question we're asking ourselves. So basically we're asking is 9 plus 16 equal to 25? And in fact, yes, it is, because 9 plus 16 is 25, so 25 equals 25. So yes, this could be a right triangle. Let's try it again with this one. Is 5 squared plus 6 squared equal to 7 squared? Again, the, the biggest number has to be the hypotenuse. So is 25 plus 36 equal to 49? And I can easily tell you that 25 and 36 gives you 61. So is 61 equal to 49? No. This is... This is not a right triangle. This is, could be a triangle, but it's not going to be a right triangle with a right angle because it does not satisfy Pythagorean theorem. Okay, that's it for part three.